what causes wax buildup? Yeah. A number of things. It could be your ear anatomy. So if you've got a narrow ear canal or a twisty hair, ear canal or a hairy ear canal, the wax gets blocked and matted. If you poke in your ear, so if you use cotton buds or if you wear a hearing aid or an earbud, that can all force the wax further in. As we get older, and I'm not saying you're old, I'm not suggesting that in the slightest, but as we get older, the earwax gets drier. Ah, so right. as it's trying to migrate outwards, you get the friction against the ear canal walls, so it gets clogged up. There's multiple reasons. It could also be genetic. Your ear secretes the earwax a lot quicker than the ear can naturally expel it out of the ear, so you get a natural build-up. The wax is coming out. It's just a bit of hair attached to it, so it's slightly matted, but we'll work around that. If I do come out of your ear, it just means that the suction yeah, probe is a bit blocked. Yeah. It's going to loosen the wax of the canal wall, which I just had. Your wax is quite soft, so I'm just being a bit yeah, careful with the suction. Drops, I suppose. Yeah, with the suction probe, if we really push into the wax, it's going to block the tube. I'm just trying to catch the surface of the wax and loosen it. Yeah, we are getting there. Yeah. Oh. I might have to put some more drops in. Um, the outer layer of wax, which I've already removed, that was quite nice and soft because of the drops, but the inner layer of wax, naturally the, the drops couldn't penetrate through to that, so it's a little bit... It's a little bit firm, yeah. All right. but, I'll, get, I'll get there, yeah. Slowly but surely. It's really compacted. Let's just put some drops just to loosen that little bit. the excess in the outer part of your ear and the hairs because the oil coats the hairs and it then it smears my screen.
slightly more complex because the, the wax is matted with hair and you can't really touch in hair. Yeah. So this is just coating your eardrum, so it's got to be nice and delicate and trying to get some grip on it. Should be hearing a bit better now. See some of your eardrum. I'm going to attach this little fine end. Yeah, you carry on. You know what you're doing. Yeah. So generally speaking, um, everyone has a bit of hair in their ear, yeah. but the ears on the outer part, or the entrance, this hair inside your ear could be after a shave or a haircut. Oh, so I'll right. give you some tips after you've had a haircut how to make sure that the hair doesn't go into your ear. I need to stay nice and still for this bit because it is very tricky. to vacuum is actually on the eardrum now oh, yeah because the wax is stuck to the wax and the eardrum flies away so you're doing very well well just keep it stay as still as you can Not uncomfortable for you? No, it's not too bad. It's okay. Yeah. Wax side canal wall. It's a lot more tricky when you've got hair yeah. attached to the wax. Sorry about that. That's not your fault. So I'm just going to put some more drops in to soften that last yeah. layer. For most people, the earwax is located in the outer third or outer half of the ear canal. Yeah. And that portion of the ear canal is made up of cartilage. Cartilage is quite flexible and malleable, so if you make contact with it, it's not uncomfortable. Where we're working now is deep in your ear, and the 
in a third and a half almost of the ear canals made up of bone. It's very sensitive to make contact with it. So, hence why I'm just being very cautious. Your eardrum has revealed itself to me. I can see all of it now. Good. Just a bit of wax at the top. I'll see if I can get that. It is a sensitive part of the ear. Come on, though. Need a steady hand for this. Stuck to your drum. Excuse me. I'm say, doing fantastically well for saying so still. I'm actually really pleased with that. Well, yeah, you're, yeah, very pleased. Well, there's, a bit, pleased yeah, there's a bit more. Wax, there is a bit of wax stuck to the canal wall and a bit on the eardrum, but sometimes you can be trying to be too too confident, too clever, and you can just cause trauma. That remaining piece of wax and dead skin and hair is not going to cause you any symptoms, and it will naturally migrate if we keep going for it. Yeah, and we can just do damage unnecessarily. Um, it feels better. 
you should feel you should feel 100 percent or your yeah. the symptoms that were caused by the wax the occluding wax is completely removed now right. so the sound can travel through right through the ear canal to the eardrum right. i'll show you in a minute you'll see specks of wax here and there we've been here all day just trying to yeah, get all those yeah. out and it's I mean, not yeah. going to improve you your symptoms to using, to keep using the drops or i would leave it at the moment oh, okay. you've been using a lot of drops let your ear naturally dry, dry out right. and then in a few weeks as a preventative measure i do recommend using some olive oil ear yeah. wax drops yeah I've got once a month time. twice a month oh, right, okay. just to keep your ear canal lubricated right, okay, okay. But yeah you should be feeling really good yeah it feels a lot better i'll show you on the camera yeah.